What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Anji Moja here. And I just got done watching four hours of some incredible storytelling. Um, I started this thing off at like 12, 25. I did take breaks here and there. Not because I needed to, because whatever, you know. I could have watched and sat the whole four hours, but, you know, had to feed my dog and had, you know, give me a couple snacks here and there, bat the bathroom, you know, but I really could have, I really could have held it, but, <clears throat> but, you know, I wanted to take my time and enjoy, man, and I, and I really did, uh, this is my f just first initial reaction, um, let me just say this. Uh, let me just say that um, WB, they messed up, y'all. They really did. Um, WB should have should have put this out. They should have had the cojones and not been scared. Um, and they should have put this out. They should have put this out. Should have made it a two-parter. It would have been perfect. And everybody, like I was watching the the pregame, you know, watching you know Zach and. And and uh, Kevin Smith and they're talking about you know you know there, this was the only place they could they could have put it at and they you know they couldn't have done they couldn't have put it in the movie theater to have it go four hours and no they, they didn't have it they could have done two hours a piece part one part two for this particular Justice League film and then of course continue with because uh, there's a way that they can take, obviously there's a setup for a Justice League second. You know, full on movie, but um, yeah, that would be really messed up. I will say that there there are some beats. There are some beats, uh, guys. I, I I cried, I cheered, I cried, I cheered, I cried, I cheered. There's a lot of touching moments in this film. A lot of words. Um, a lot of words. A lot of words. That, that are very meaningful that we're missing obviously in the I can't even I don't even know what to call that it's not even called Justice League anymore I I feel like I saw a couple videos today that actually they showed they took the that theatrical cut and and broke the disc in half <laughs> I've seen videos do that today or last night and um, I almost feel like I want to do that to mine but I ain't wasting the money I ain't wasting that money but um, definitely, I'm not playing that again. Um, if I do, it might be because of the, you know, no sp spoiler alert, you know, Flash reaches the race of Superman at the post credit scene. That's like the only coolest part. You know, if you look at it, if you look, if you watch that film and then you watch this film or you vice versa, you watch this film and you go back and watch that film. Oh my God, hands down. I can see why the hype is the way it is. I see how a lot of people that did not like, um, you know, Zack Snyder's vision of certain things, I can see why they had turned around and said, you know what, I actually don't, I didn't mind what I saw. I really, I really enjoyed this movie. And, and it made Man of Steel mean more. It meant Batman v Superman mean more. Uh, with so many different things. Just little nuggets to make things make sense you know because it's like a, like we mentioned before it's a it was a a big big story that vi uh, that that vision that Zack Snyder wanted to tell um it wasn't supposed to stop at at Batman v Superman and then of course whatever happened with the justice cut or whatever you want to call it the the I don't even know. I, I I can't even I don't even know what it is I, it's tr nah, I can't even say it I'll tell people I'm not gonna I'm not going to say those words, you know, tell a movie that's trash. <laughs> you know, it, it's just not the same, guys. It's not the same. Um, I'm going to try not to rant too much. It is 4.30 in the morning. I am tired. I'm going to go to bed here in a minute. But I'm again, I'm just giving you my raw opinion right now and, and, and my thoughts. And guys, I'm not no critic. I'm just a fan that loves these movies and, and has a good time. And, and uh, let me just say that um, this was a good time. This was a really good time. Um, the pacing's great. Um, the the um, no no spoilers, of course. I'll just say that 
Sorry, I'm moving the camera around, guys. I'm just kind of like fidgety, <laughs> in a sense. Um, if I didn't have to work tomorrow, I'd probably watch another set right now. I'll probably, I'd actually, if I didn't have to work, well, today, if I didn't have to work today, I'd probably go watch Man of Steel, then Batman v Superman, and then watch it again. That's how jacked I am about this film, man. It, you could just watch it again. Um, I might be all over the place. Sorry. Like I said, four hours of, of really cool epicness storytelling. Um, that's the whole part. This this whole thing. Uh, let me say this. Everybody was talking about, oh, we need to do the, 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 um, we, we need to do it the Marvel way. And, and everybody has their origin story, the origin story. And then, you know, then we do the big team up. You know what I mean? That you, that you won't care about if it, if, you know, you don't care about the, the characters, you know, for the big team up, right? In this movie alone, if you didn't even have Man of Steel, and you didn't even, and let's say you didn't even have Batman v Superman, let's say they just started off with this, just this, let's say they started off with this, I think everybody would have been fine, because you get, you just, you get some things, and I'm not spoiling anything, you get some things that just work, and 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 you learn about characters. That you really emotion. I mean, really. I mean, dude. Like I said, with I'll just say this: the Flash, you cry. Uh, Cyborg, you definitely cry. There's one scene that he says back to somebody, and ooh, that messed me up. I was gone, gone. You know when I say she gone? Well, she gone. Um, Superman, you know, no spoiler ten. He coming back, right? Um, Aquaman, you know what I mean? Um, uh, Batman, just, you know, with Bruce Wayne, you know, uh, Wonder Woman, oh my God, dude, she is a badass, you thought she was badass in Batman v Superman, you thought she was badass in her, in, in her own Wonder Woman movie, in her own Wonder Woman, I can't, <clears throat> own Wonder Woman movie, if you thought she was a badass in the whatever debacle, Dolph's this dumb league, oh my, dude, Zack Snyder made her look like a boss, man. She was so cool, and she whooped some ass. She did. She did. Um, <sighs> just, just some good storytelling here, man. It's, you got to do y'all selves a favor, man. Watch this film, man. Watch it. Um, it's amazing. It's just This is what we should have got in 2017. And if we couldn't have gotten this at 2017, then what they should have did was let Zach take his time, let Zach do his thing, and then come on back. Kind of like what they did with Fast and Furious 7 when Paul Walker died. Everybody took a year off and came back and killed it. And, you know, we got a beautiful... Number 7 is like one of the tops that everybody loves in the franchise. Number 7. It's very... Because it's very touching. It's great action. It's, it's a great story. It makes sense. It's beautiful. It wasn't rushed. You know what I'm saying? And that's what they should have did. But I, like I told you uh, in many other uh, live streams and videos that I talked about, just like you've heard with many places, they just WB got scared from the reactionary stuff from Man of Steel and Batman v Superman, and they they wanted him out. They wanted Zach out, and it's sad, it's really sad and sucks to say this, but then WB saw the way out when his daughter Autumn died, and then they used that as an excuse to say, "Oh, go ahead and." Do what you're gonna go do, and we'll finish the movie. Yeah, we'll bring out this great director from you know Joss Whedon, and we'll bring him in here. He did Avengers one and two. He ain't gonna mess this up. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna we gonna break all box office hits. I think that thing made like ninety six million. It it was the lowest I think lowest DC film ever. Right, still, I think it's like the second to the lowest or lowest. The justice cut. The dumb cut. Yeah, man. WB. I I think someone's going to get fired. And I hope they do. I don't wish bad on anybody. Hopefully he gets a job somewhere else. I'll pray for him for that. But he don't need to be working there. Nope. Especially for what... For what yeah. That's sad. But I will say this, man. Very proud... Uh, and very excited for Zack Snyder and, and his wife. Uh, God bless them, man. Uh, I don't know if they're Christians or believer of, of Christ or of God, but um, just God bless them because there's a, at the end, 
no spoiler, but they it's for it's for his daughter. It says for Autumn. I almost teared up right there for sure, man. I'm like, dude, your dad did good. Your dad did good. Your mom did good. Yeah, I mean, it's not a family man. And hey, guys, the fans, y'all that are watching, okay, even the haters out there. That now done the switcheroo and you're like, oh, well, let's, let's re-snore, let's re-snore, let's re-snore, you know, it's tight. It's 445, y'all, to restore the Snyderverse. That is now trending. And, 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 and I hope Zach knew what he was doing because Zach set it up for the, I, well, I'll give you the spoiler. I'll give you one spoiler. I'll give you one, just one tiny one. I'll just say. Cause I ain't going to say where or when or whatever. I'll just say injustice storyline. I'm sure people can already figure that out from watching the trailers for certain things with a certain scene with Batman and Joker. Mm -hmm. So let me just say that, uh, it does end on a cliffhanger. It does. And that is a ma It's a massive one. It's a massive, massive you. And you see a glimpse of them in the last trailer that they showed, not the TV spots or ads, but the, there's a trailer. Right, the last trailer they showed, I think it was a couple of days ago or a day ago, and there's a really quick shot of something. Cape flapping. That's all I'll say. And with that being said, uh, it, there's a there's a definitely set up for that second Justice League movie. And I hope if they say yes to it, I hope they just make it in two parts. They don't try to cut nothing down and break it down and and try to you know because this is the thing. If they would have chopped this up too, most likely it still would have been obviously way better than what we got, right? But it probably would have took out of context a lot of the stuff. And that's where um, everybody's like, oh, well, everybody has to have their solo movie, right? Dude, they it was like watching Origins for all for everybody, for every character. For Batman, for Superman, for for Flash, for Cyborg, for for Wonder Woman. It, it, it's 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 crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, yeah, but guys, this is my initial thoughts. Uh, I'm still just blown away by this film. Um, I already knew I, I already knew I was gonna love it. I was hyped already, hyped of hype. I had high hopes already. My the bar was raised. I look, you can't even see my hand because because <laughs> there it is because it was so high, and it didn't drop. It didn't drop. You know, there's a couple spots. I was like, ah. You know, I wish I had a little more of this or there was a couple lines. Oh, there is one line that I'm surprised still made it. <laughs> and I, I cringed because it's the only one line I don't like out of, obviously, from both films. It's the one line I just never liked. And I'm surprised they kept it in. But obviously, that was a Zack Snyder thing. <laughs> Sam, we thought it was Joss Whedon. And actually, that was a Zack. And I was like, oh, wow. So and you'll know what I mean when uh, when when you watch it. It's everything else though. There are a couple uh, 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 things that were said in the theatrical cut that they totally did not say in here, which made the the tone and um, parts that were meant to be serious be more serious. Meant parts that but that was supposed to be a little more lighthearted was lighthearted because of the things they said. Things that really pulled the tears, the, the you know make your heart you know. Uh, 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 whether it be joy or sadness or whatever, you, you you hit it for sure. You know what I mean? By some of the words they say that was missing from the other cut or that they took out that actually made more sense for the scene. Um, but this this one they didn't take out. And I was like, man, what the heck? <laughs> it was, and it's just one out of four hours. It was one, one. And that, you know, so like I said, man, it, this is not a, uh, let me because it's not a perfect there's i don't think there's no perfect film i don't think there is one you may as a fan say it's perfect but there really truly isn't one perfect film okay um so um i will say that there are some scenes that yeah it could have been cut down very very minimal um and you'll you'll you, you'll be able to decipher which one those are and it's very very few like maybe two scenes max three out of the four hours and when i say cut down i'm meaning like 10 seconds, 15 seconds. And that, and that, and that's, I, I don't want to spoil anything. You'll figure it out when you see it, but everything else though, man, it needed to be there and it made sense and it worked. And, uh, man, like I said, go watch it, uh, later. You don't have to watch all four hours if you don't want, but you most likely you will, because like myself, even though I stopped and I had to do some of my stuff I needed to do, um, 
I, I was, I just was compelled to keep watching. Like right now, like I said, I would watch it again. The whole, actually, I'd watch it for Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, and this Justice League right now. I'm only going to call it just Zack Snyder Justice League, right? The the trilogy of all trilogies. I can see why Christopher Nolan put a stamp on it, cause, whew. Oh, not joking, Batman scene. Yeah, that was pretty tight, man. Oh, you all gonna. I can see why Christopher Nolan said stamp on that too with the Heath Ledger and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, Christian Bale. I can see why. I I can't pick which one's better. I think I like them both the same. Uh, they're both intense, both very cool, uh, and and just epic, just epic, 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 epic. So um, yeah, guys, thank you for my initial reaction for letting me come on here and 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 sharing that with y'all. Um, I'll probably do some more uh, spoiler talk. And some other stuff. Maybe I'll bring some of my friends in that have watched it. Um, and then we'll talk more about it. Maybe I'll do one singly. Um, and then I'll bring my friends on. And, and we'll just, you know, chit-chat and talk. And and uh, and get hyped. Because, hey, restore the Snyderverse. Hashtag restore the Snyderverse. And hashtag Man of Steel 2. Directing, directing, director, you know, Zack Snyder. And, of course, hashtag... Justice League 2. Hashtag. Nightmare sequence. We ready. All right, guys. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful morning, not night. All right. And we'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. God bless. Peace. Yeah.